If you're trying to decide what type of irrigation system to set up in your greenhouse, this video is for you. So last year we built this 100 foot by 25 feet greenhouse, as you can see here, and we hand watered the entire summer. So in here we grew tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers. We also grew tons of greens and other types of vegetables. And all of the watering was done initially by a small hand waterer and then eventually by a hose. And that that was fine, but it definitely took almost half an hour every single day. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you what we're doing to change our irrigation setup. I'm Natalie Lucier, founder of Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery, and this is our geothermal climate battery greenhouse. And what that means is that we're able to essentially offset the temperatures by storing hot air into the bottom of the greenhouse underground in pipes, or offset the heat in the greenhouse by storing cooler air and rotating the air. And a lot of that is really amazing, but having to hand water a greenhouse is not the ideal setup. So we thought about a different type of system. So one of them is drip irrigation. So that was our first thought because we have experience with that from our outside garden. So when we lived in Texas, we had an outdoor garden, we had trees, we had all kinds of plants and garden things outside. And as you know, in Texas, it gets extremely hot, extremely dry in the summer. And so we had to irrigate using drip irrigation. And so what that meant was just a small watering cable that goes all the way around the garden. And then you make some small drip holes with a small emitter that just drips water out. And so we would run this for maybe half an hour and it would drip just in the right spot. So right by a tree or right by a plant. And at first we thought this is what we were going to do in the greenhouse too. But with these raised beds that we've put into the greenhouse, we realized it's not quite the right setup. We could definitely snake them around the raised beds and try to make sure we can still step over the hoses everywhere. But we realized it wasn't quite the best option or the best solution for the greenhouse. So what we decided to do is to go with misting systems. So the misting system that we decided to go with is actually very similar to drip irrigation, where we hung some hoses all the way around the greenhouse in different rows that go above our raised beds. And then instead of just regular emitters like drip irrigation, we have another conduit line that comes down with a spray nozzle on the end. And so what that means is when we run the irrigation, water goes through those pipes, it hits the end of the greenhouse where we have the pipe closed off, and then water will then go back through the conduits and come out of that nozzle. And these nozzles are really cool because you can actually change the spray effectiveness. So you can make it a little bit harder and a smaller area, or you can make it wide and hit a larger area. And that's what we've decided to do. We want to be able to water an entire raised bed and hopefully not too much of the pathways in between. Another reason that we decided to do the misting system as opposed to drip system is because this greenhouse gets insanely warm in the summer. It can get up to 50 degrees Celsius. Celsius, and that means our plants are wilting and it's just really hard to keep cool even if we open all the doors and we have the fans running from our climate battery. So with the misting system, we've noticed that the temperature can definitely drop just from having water sprinkling from high on up and just cooling everything down because the water tends to be cooler and that will definitely slow down some of that heat that we have in the greenhouse here. So our plan is to install some timers so that the misting system will turn on several times throughout the day day so that the plants stay moist, but not too moist, and that the greenhouse stays a little bit cooler so that our plants aren't suffocating in here. We haven't quite figured out the timing for that yet, so we don't know if we'll be doing it a few times a day for five minutes or for less time or more time. So if you have any experience setting up these misting systems and you want to share what works for you, definitely leave a comment below. We've only had the system operational for a few days, and I can already tell you it's going to be a game changer for this greenhouse. So I'm super excited if you are planning to do this too. Like with everything on this channel, this is an experiment and our next plan is to also hook up this water into our sump pump system or our rain barrel system. So for now, we're using water from our house and the hose. So we're really excited to see what comes next. So make sure to subscribe to find out when we actually build that project. Now, if you're curious about our climate battery system, go ahead and watch that video to find out more about that now. 